Happy guinea pig! Here we go. Hi, I'm Aline. Welcome to my kitchen. And y'all, it is tailgate time. Tailgate. I should say hashtag tailgate time. Uh, this is a collaboration that is being hosted by Tiffany at Mud and Mascara Homestead and co-hosted by Tony at Kettle Kitchen. And y'all, this is Tiffany's first collaboration. And from what I have seen so far on the videos that have been put out for this... She's knocking it out of the park. She, Everybody's knocking it out of the park. There have been some awesomely amazing videos put out. Oh, and, yeah. And uh, what Tiffany has asked is that everybody put themselves on a plate. So, uh, you make a dish that pretty much puts you on a plate. Won't reach. <laughs> but, uh... Piggy and I have this thing. We love Sloppy Joes. We usually have Sloppy Joes at least two to three times a month. At least. At least. Uh, sloppy Joes are really easy for me to fix. One reason is I can just throw it together. I don't have to sit there and worry about measuring everything out because I know what I'm going to put in it. And it's easy enough. She was able to tell me what to do as I put it together. Yeah. Piggy has made it because I've sat here and told him exactly what to put in it. And they were... His were great. So, what I'm making is Sloppy Joe sliders. That's one of my first dishes. Well, Piggy and I both love jalapeno poppers. Uh -huh. I just don't like having to go to the trouble of making the jalapeno poppers. You know, they can be a pain. But I found a recipe years ago, and I have made it a couple of times for Piggy. And it is jalapeno popper cups. And so that's another dish that I'm going to make is, so I'm making sloppy joe sliders and jalapeno popper cups. And that's going to be my contribution to the hashtag tailgate time uh, collaboration. Now, also in this collaboration, uh, it runs from January the 1st to January the 31st. And there's going to be 32 or 33 uh, videos from channels that have collaborated to, to do this. And there's one that it is going to be her very first video put up on the collaboration, and that is Nanny Tam, and hers will be coming out on January the 31st. Oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, too. I'm looking forward to it. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of firsts here. Tiffany's first uh, hosting of a collaboration, Nanny Tam's first video ever on her channel. So, uh, that, to me, is worth watching the videos for. Now, on February the 4th, it is a Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, there will be a small giveaway done on uh, Kettle Kitchen's channel. Uh, it, like I said, it will start at 5 p.m. And I don't know how many gifts are going to be given away. I don't know all the details of it. But if it goes anything like the other uh, giveaways that I've been in on Tony's channel, uh, it will be... Three different types of giveaways. One is for collaborators. If you're a collaborator, you know, they'll let, them, let you know if it's a collaboration drawing or not. Uh, two is the hashtag drawing, which means you have to be in chat to, to win a prize for the hashtag. The third way to win is to like, or excuse me, to watch, like, and comment on all the videos. The more videos you comment on, the more opportunities you have to win like comment share yeah which i mean i try to share them all out when i watch the videos i like share and i leave comments and not because i'm wanting to win a prize but because i'm wanting to boost the channels and to boost out the uh, collaboration so if you're interested in the giveaway and you really want to try to win a prize you have to watch the videos leave a comment make sure it's a nice comment but leave a comment okay now, I've got all that taken care of. Now I'm going to go through all my ingredients so I can show you what I've got here. Okay. Well, First if it's one. not a nice comment, they can go ahead and put it out there. It still counts. You're going to be a hater. Joke's on you because it still counts as interaction and it helps the channel out. Yeah, but, but it, it's, you know, try to be nice if you can. All right. First thing first, I've got a package of King's Hawaiian Rolls. Love these things. These are amazing. These are the rolls, not the buns. I've got a pound of, well, a little over a pound of hamburger meat there. I've got some Worcestershire sauce, rice wine vinegar, ketchup, 
mustard, brown sugar. I've got some uh, onions and peppers mixed, about a cup of those. And I have some Piggy's the Rub Salt Free. Piggy, Piggy. And I will be adding a little bit of salt to this. I also have butter in the microwave that I'm going to use to brush on the top of my rolls, along with some of the, huh? I need to check on that. Yeah, along with some of the pieces of rub salt free. I mix that together and I'm going to brush that on the top. So that is for my Sloppy Joe Slider Show. This is for my uh, jalapeno pepper cups. I've got one package, an eight ounce package of cream cheese. I've got eight ounces of chopped bacon cooked. Mm, bacon. I have two green onions chopped up. One jalapeno pepper diced and chopped. I have some uh, shredded cheddar cheese which will be used for both videos and I don't think I mentioned my pickles over here both videos well both both dishes y'all <laughs> uh, and I have I'll just verify yeah and I have some wonton wrappers for y'all but I do have pickles and cheese going on my sliders so what I'm gonna do is set my stuff for my sliders off to the side for just a few minutes is it time? Not to bring that over yet, no. Okay. Because I'm going to mix this up first. Uh, I'm just getting everything over here out of my way. Uh, but you can go ahead and put this in the stir for me if you want, baby. Put it in the stir. In the stir. Uh, and I have... Do I have to take a colander out? Yes, please. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get my wonton wraps in my... Uh, muffin pans and as you can see I'm going to be making about 12 of these and for anybody that's interested these wonton wraps are vegan I think they're gluten free and vegan I'm not sure how they'd be gluten free but I saw that on one of them before really? yeah I know they're vegan because you know I'm not sure no flavor well, we give them flavor when we use them. Okay. And you see what I'm doing here? I'm just kind of pressing these in these cups. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. Then I'll have Piggy come back when I'm done. And we'll get started on mixing all this, the filling up. Okie dokie. Okay. Got me a fork here. I'm going to put my jalapeno. And this is one fully diced jalapeno. That's the cream cheese. Cream cheese. Mm -hmm. Let's see that. Well, thank you. I've got, like I said, my two green onions there. I got things to wash. And I may or may not use all of this bacon. Probably won't use all of it. And if I don't use all of it, then I might put some of it on my slider. But I'm going to go ahead and mix this right here up together. Mix it, mix it. Oh, yeah. All that mixed in together. I'm just gonna put, yeah, it's probably gonna be about a half cup of cheese, maybe. Half to three fourths cup. And that is extra sharp, well, not, not sharp cheddar cheese, excuse me, not extra sharp. But you can use any kind of cheese you like in your jalapeno poppers. I mean, that's up to you. Whatever you like in your jalapeno popper. Is what you can put in here. As long as it ain't no toe cheese. <laughs> no, we don't want no toe cheese. That might not taste too good. Might not. Okay. Alright. I'll tell you need what. The cheese out or? Yeah, I'm going to be using the cheese in just a minute. Alright. Just okay. check it. I'm going to take a quick break while I finish mixing this up. And we'll be back when I get ready to put it in the uh, pans. All right, here we go. Yeah, I had to have Piggy finish mixing it up for me, y'all, because it got a little bit tough on my hands. Mixy, mixy. I was going to use my cookie scape, which you can if you want to, but I figured ain't no reason to mess it up if I don't want to, or don't have to, I should say. You just want to put a good dollop. Uh, a dollop of do you. Yeah. 
I mean, you can fill it really as full as you want, but honestly, you don't need all of that overly filled because you know you're really getting is a mouthful of cream cheese with a little bit of flavoring. But uh, let's just put it down in there like that right there. And if you find one you feel like doesn't have enough, just get you a small bite more and put in there. And, on top. Now I do have my oven preheated to 375 degrees and these are going to bake for about 20 to 25 minutes at 375. And I've already told Piggy that if I don't use all of this on these 12 that I will make us some more later. But right now that's what I plan on making is these 12. And you can make up a larger batch of them if you want to make a lot of them for your tailgate party. And again, remember this is hashtag tailgate time, hosted by Tiffany at Mud Mascara and Tony at Kettle Kitchen. And I have seen a lot of amazing tailgating foods. Now there are some other sliders in the video. I haven't yet, I've yet to see a sloppy joe slider like I'm making, but I've seen hamburger slider. And, um, I saw uh, sliders made with uh, ham and turkey and provolone, I think it's provolone cheese. Could have been, yeah, I think it's provolone, sliced provolone. <laughs> Sounded good anyway. I'll get that piece of bacon. It just wants to keep bringing that out of there for me. I don't think we're going to have a great lot left, so I'm just going to divide anything left between all of these that don't have as much in them. Like I said, you know, the reason this is was done is because Super Bowl is coming up in February. And, uh, Gives everybody ideas what they can do for Super Bowl parties, tailgate parties, whatever you want to do. And just think, y'all you know, have over 30 different ideas. Well, yeah, well over 30 because some of the channels have made two, uh, two dishes. Some have made three. Some have made just one. But uh, still a lot of ideas. I dare. A lot of ideas. For tailgating and uh, Addies. I've come from uh, I've found a lot of ideas just for party foods not just tailgating foods for party foods and um, she I, adored me yo I yeah I'm ignoring you <laughs> try to get this last bit I don't want to overfill them but I don't want to Right there, might need a little bit more. This one right here is going to need a little bit more. Almost used it though, huh? Well, I didn't have that much left, so I just decided to. Good, I can wash the bowl. Piggy ain't got nothing to do, y'all. Okay, I got one. Get it. Fork left. I get a bowl and wash. Now I'm just trying to decide where to divide this stuff at. Okay. Not only does Tiggy got a bowl to wash, Tiggy is going to have a torch to wash as well. Give me, give me. And I'm going to pop these in the oven for about 25 minutes. Take a quick break to get everything set up to do my uh, sloppy joe sliders. So while those are cooking, I'll be working on the sliders. So we'll be back in just a minute once everything's set up. All right. Alright y'all, we're back. I've got the hamburger meat on to cook. Chop that up real fine. Folks, she calls that her little red chopper dopper. That's my chopper dopper. At least that's what she called it this time. Yeah. It's a choppy choppy chopper dopper. It's whatever I call it when I can think of what to call it something. And Piggy got to go get it and try to figure out what she's talking about. Well, he knew what I was talking about this time for some odd reason. The hamburger meat. Yeah. Alright. Now while that cooks down, I've got 
my ketchup and everything over here, ready to be put in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this cook. It'll probably take about five to eight minutes for this to cook down. It doesn't really take long at all. And then once that gets cooked down, I'll add my peppers and onions. I can go ahead and add my peppers and onions. They can cook down with it. Yeah. So the peppers and onions and the hamburger meat are going to be cooking down. Again, I'll take about eight minutes or so. And once that is done, we'll come back and we'll get started on making the sloppy joe mixture up. So uh, we'll see you when we come back. All right. All right, y'all, my hamburger meat, pretty much done. And y'all can see there's not a lot of grease at all in that hamburger meat. That's why I like what we get our meat. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to salt the meat a little bit. Not going to be a lot. Just salt to taste. And then I'm going to put in some piggies to rub salt free since I added salt. And uh, this on this right here, this would be your own personal, whatever choice of seasoning you want to use. I use piggy rub, and I'll probably use about a uh, half a tablespoon, maybe, maybe a tablespoon. And uh, you can use garlic powder, onion powder, uh, chili powder, cumin, whatever you want to use. That's entirely up to you. If it floats your boat, use it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Y'all, that just amazes me. She can tell about what she needs just by doing that. I would need a measuring thing. I'm going to put about maybe a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of mustard. I ain't gonna say what that sounded like. I know what that sounded like. And I'm gonna put just a little bit of brown sugar, probably about again, about a tablespoon or so of brown sugar. Maybe a tablespoon and a half. There you go, Pete, I'll let you put that up. Oh, gee, thank you. And you wanna put a little bit of acid in with that sugar. So I'm gonna put a little bit of vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar, you can use white vinegar. I am using rice wine vinegar because I happen to like the flavor of it. Get all that mixed in. Now here, if I'm making regular sloppy joes to go over bread or buns, uh, for supper is where I would add a small 10 ounce can of tomato paste, or 8 ounce can, or whatever that little can is. Not tomato paste, but tomato sauce, y'all. But since I'm making it for sliders, I'm not doing that. I'm just going to use ketchup. Take it just goes back in here. It don't go in there. It goes on the bottom shelf over there on my Okay, I see. Okay. And this I'm going to use about three fourths to a cup of tomato ketchup. If I was using tomato sauce, it would only be about a quarter cup or so. Take that means throw it away. Yep. All right. Folks, the right side of a small kitchen. I ain't got that far to go to the sink or the trash can or whatever. A couple of steps over yonder away from the trash can. All that. Okay. I mean, you know. Now, I'm going to let this sit and simmer down. Or, let's see. Probably about another eight minutes or so. I'm just going to let it sit and simmer. Cook down a little bit. But this is what it looks like with everything together before I put it on the rolls. And, uh... Biggie can show you what it looks like, I guess. Like I said, I'm going to cut it down, just let it sit and simmer with a lid on it for about eight minutes. And uh, that'll give me about five minutes or so to put it together before I get ready to put it in the oven. Oh, we know you. Is that it? Yep. All right. All right. All right, we're back. And y'all, uh, this is the uh, almost half stick of butter. And I've got some piggies to rub salt free that we're putting in here. Mm. I mean, if you think about everything you put in uh, to go over the top of your slider buns, you put in onion powder, garlic powder, um, 
usually I think like Dijon mustard and things like that. Well, I'm not using the Dijon mustard. I'm just using the butter and the seasonings. And I will tell you, Piggy's the Rub has garlic powder. It has onion powder, chili powder, cumin, um, paprika. It has salt and pepper in it, except for the salt-free version. It doesn't have any salt. So, uh, since it has all that in it, and a lot of that's what we put on top of, mix in to put on top of the uh, buns with the butter, I'm just going to do that and let that sit over here and cool for just a minute. Now, I do have my rolls already cut in half, so what I'm going to do is just lift that up, put them like that right there. And oh, we'll take boy. Well, before I do that, let me do something else. Yeah. You want a spoon that's got holes in it? or No, this will work. This will okay, what I, I mean. I didn't know. Just put a little bit of cheese on the bottom of it, yeah. We like cheese on our sloppy joes. We like pickles. On, I'll tell you what I'm going to put on there. Since I got some of this bacon, I'm going to jazz it up with some bacon, too. Cheese is good stuff. And Piggy likes bacon. And I'm going to save a little bit of bacon for my Charlie. And for those of y'all who don't know who my Charlie is, that's my baby doggy. He's eight years old. And uh, I try to give him a little uh, treat every now and then. And he likes bacon, so... That level on that game is messing with me. <laughs> Piggy plays his game. I, well, I can't say that. I play my games on my phone too, y'all. I got the one game. I, I got another game that, that I like to play, but it's so involving that you, you got to stay right with it. Tw uh, time you get up, time you go to bed, you don't give you no time to do nothing else. Do anything else. I've had some of them games too, and I stopped playing them. That ever merged. Yeah. But yeah, this is that game. Alright, yeah. I'll put the rest of that in the refrigerator for later. Alright, yeah. put a little, bit, put a little bit more cheese. And you'll see I have a mixture of cheese that's down here. This is mozzarella and cheddar now, because I have the cheddar on top of the mozzarella cheese. Done with that. I'm done with that. No, wait, that was my butter. You empty it, Biggie? That's okay. That's my fault. A good bit of it. That's okay. That's my fault. I wasn't paying attention. I apologize. That's my fault. Well, that's why I asked. You know, I tell you. you get See, y'all, that's me. That's me. That's on me. I get focused on what I'm doing. Okay, well, she, she says she don't do it, but I'll tell her something or, or want her to look at something and tell her about it and everything. And I'm sitting there telling her about it, and she ain't looking at it. She says, yeah, I see what you're talking about. One of those type of things. I'm like, you don't done it, you ain't looking. All right, y'all, I got my pickles, my cheese, my sloppy joe mixture, and more cheese and bacon at the bottom, okay? And we're going to take what's left of our mixture here, which this should be enough. And just spread it on top of the bun here. Oh yeah, I'll be more than that. Alright, as long as it will be. Yes. I'd have melted some more if need be. That's okay. We don't need it soppy melty buttery. See folks, we do have snafus. Alright. Now I've got the oven still set for 375 degrees. Man, that looks so good. And I will tell y'all, the jalapeno popper cups did not take but about 15 minutes instead of the 20, 25 I've had them in for. So, now you can have that. Well, thank you. All right, now this is going to go in the oven. I'm going to bake this for about 20 minutes. Everything's done. I'm just going to give the, the time for the cheese to melt in, the butter to toast the bread, and all that. And make these really good and yummy and gooey gooey. Okay, those are in my oven. And, all right, we got 20 minutes, y'all. We'll see y'all when that comes out of it. 
All right. All right, y'all, we're back. These are out of the oven. It didn't take but about 10 minutes on these, y'all, at 375. So I was a little bit off on my time. The sliders only took about 10 minutes in the oven to brown the rolls and melt the cheese because everything else was already melted and done. Look at that, folks. Yep, those jalapeno poppers and the, oh, and the sliders. Oh, man. That looks so good. Yep. As soon as Piggy tells me I can dig in, I'm going to dig in, y'all. I'm assuming that means I can dig in. Piggy on the fork, so there's Piggy's fork. Well, just in case. Just in case. I'm going to try this jalapeno popper cup first, y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's a go. And the thing about it is, if you want it spicier, add more jalapeno. It's your jalapeno popper cup. You control the heat right well, in this right here. Unless you're one of those buttons for punishment and you like having arrows or whatever. Again, whatever kind of popper you want. It'd be a jalapeno popper. It'd be a, a habanero popper. And this is my slider, y'all. And Johnny Small Pepper, you don't count. Mm. <laughs> the peppers you can handle. Woo! Mm. That pickle and bacon and cheese just sets off that. That's uh, Sloppy Joe. Piggy had to get him a bite of Sloppy Joe, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Good stuff, Piggy. Ugh. Well, y'all, this is my hashtag tailgate time. Piggy and I on a plate because this is stuff that we love. That was my first bite, folks. That was his first one. So, please check out all of the hashtag tailgate time videos. The playlist is on Mud Mascara Homestead's uh page go there go to the playlist and i think it's the first playlist uh on on her uh, playlist page you can also find the playlist on kettle kitchen so uh, i will also put the description uh, or in the description i'll list all the channels that are in the uh, collaboration and links to their channel so you can get there now piggy is in heaven over here he, he, he is truly enjoying this because, like I said, Piggy loves jalapeno poppers. He loves sloppy joes. I love sloppy joes. I love jalapeno poppers. So, match made in heaven. That is definitely a match made in heaven right there. My jalapeno poppers and sloppy joes. So, again, please check out the hashtag tailgate time videos. Again, I'll list the uh, channels in the description with the links to the channels so that you can go there and see the videos, or go to, and I'll list the playlist, uh, I'll link the playlist as well, so that you go to the playlist and go to all the videos, you won't have a ton of them up. Uh, thank you, Tiffany, for asking uh, me to be part of the collaboration, and Tony, thank you for co-hosting. Uh, thank you to all of the participants in the collaboration, because y'all have given me some really great ideas, and uh, y'all, just have a great day, check out the videos, Stay warm, stay safe, because right now we have got sleet and snow going on around us, and I know it's been going on all around the country. We ain't got as bad as a lot of y'all out there, trust me, and I'm thankful for that. Most thankful. So uh, everybody have a good day. Bye, y'all. I'm going to finish my dinner. <laughs>